Hey everybody, this is Curtis from PSN Stores, and today we're looking at LA Cops. Um, we're just gonna jump into it. So we get to get to select two different cops. We got Williams, Borland, uh, Kowalski, Murphy, Green, Katsuo. Uh, let's bring in Murphy and Green. Those are two guys, two people, two guys in, in oh, a guy and a girl. That I have not used. I used uh, Borland and, and Kowalski first. So. We'll use them. This is a uh, kind of very stylized. Uh, kind of. Top down. Sh shooter. I, I hate to kind of say it, it. Hotline Miami is kind of the easiest comparison. Um, and you'll see why. It's very. It's kind of got the same kind of camera view. And. And just kind of the way you move around each level. It's very similar. So you saw there one of the cops went into his office, found his wedding ring. His wife has left him. Uh, so this the first mission, Donut Store. Uh, thieves are holding up Dodo Donuts. They're holding Chef Danio hostage. Those punks need to know you don't rob our store. Get in there, take them out, and rescue Danio. So you can uh, switch between normal, hardcore, and nightmare. We're going to stay to normal. So yeah, you have two cops that you bring in uh, of your of your choice, and you control one of them. Uh, you can use the right analog stick to kind of aim, but as you'll see, you can hit square, and square will actually lock on to like the nearest uh, target. And then R2 you'll is shoot, and it's kind of the thing you need to know. You can also, uh, I can rotate the camera with L1 and R1, and then L2 is like this swipe. So... You know, burnt burst through the doors, and... Now what I can do is I can hit X and actually have my cop roll in first. Have my partner come in. And he'll roll in and start shooting everybody up. <laughs> and then we just kind of go from here. You can pick up weapons if you want. So let me have my cop again. Have him come in around right there. Now, for now, he should probably be fine. Uh, but in this game, you know, it's the type of thing where, like, you will die very fast. Uh, I, I finished, like, the first three stages. And the most recent stage I did, like, I, I died a lot. Uh, just because some, you know, if you burst in a room with, like, three guys, if you're not fast enough, you can die, like, within a, in a second. Um, like, your partner. Uh, that's kind of the, one of the issues. It's kind of, in theory, you, know, you and your partner can kind of burst in and and clear out a room really quick, but your your partner's AI is not the best. So, you know, if he gets ganged up on, he'll... Now, technically, I probably should have ran in that room with him, but... Yeah. Alright, so, you kind of clear out a mission, you got your grade, you got different results, so kills, accuracy, arrest, uh, damage, level restarts, cop deaths, uh, civilians, total destruction and time. You can go into the next mission. There's some, like, there's cutscenes between each mission, kind of little bits of, kind of, story there. You Nothing too major that I've seen so far. What about him? She left him. <laughs> a pole? A rich chick? Ain't no way that was gonna happen. Whoa, that's cold, man. Put the siren on. What? Why? Because you ate the last dodo. Again. I don't know, um, I like the style of this a lot. I like how it looks quite a bit. Wealthy business uh, magnate Maximus Thrace is being held hostage in his apartment. Unfortunately, his hostage takers don't know he's broke and can't pay their ransom. Rescue him before they find out. Alright, so. Another thing I I've kind of found is you kind of don't really need your partner too much. I mean, for me, I kind of send my partner in rooms where there's, like, a lot of people. That way he can at least take out a few of them. Just because of how fast you die and then kind of how poor the AI is. Uh, it's it's kind of tough to...
it's rough because I don't want to like immediately, you know, compare it to something else, but it's hard kind of not to think of Hotline Miami in a way. Um, obviously, these they're very different games as far as their story and the way they look and the the sound, but it's it's kind of a similar uh, playing game. This is a lot slower, and obviously it's you got guns and that's kind of your thing. Apparently, you can arrest people. Which, uh, we, maybe we should try that. Nope. Well, he's already seen us, so it'd probably be better to sneak up on somebody to arrest them. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I mean... I just don't think it plays very well. Like... Uh, I don't... I don't like... I mean, hitting square to lock onto a target, it's fine, I guess, and it works. I just... I don't think this plays very well at all. I'm not... I don't think it's very fun. There's also another issue that I'll point out after this mission. Uh... I'm going in. But yeah, I mean, it's a similar structure too, because you got like room by room and... You know, the rooms are being controlled, so you like, your kind of approach is like, okay, we, bu we burst through the door and take out everyone as fast as we can. And then you kind of move room by room, there's different objectives and things like that. And then if people hear you, they come charging. So it's, you know, it's... It's easy to see the similar similarities. And again, I don't like always directly comparing games like this, but... You know, when one game does it so much better, it's kind of hard to kind of overlook that in a way. I don't know. Yeah, I just, um... You know, I've only played like 40 minutes of this so far, but I'm not... I'm not really having a whole lot of fun with it. So I don't... Uh, I guess there isn't... I was hoping maybe there'd be another door over there. We could go through both doors at once and take people out. So yeah, each mission so far, you know, it's not been too long. Uh, they start kind of getting separated into parts. Uh, and again, it does get... It, it kind of gets a little bit hard, but just be... And mainly just because you die so fast. Um, that kind of your first time through, where you can... If you don't really know the way to approach a level, you can, you can die a lot. So here's the thing. Again, you know, in a relatively short amount of time, I've kind of gotten up to level 4. It's only like 8 stages. It looks like these blue stages are maybe like... I'm guessing maybe like bonus or maybe like challenge areas here. Uh, I don't know how many there are past this credit sign. But I, I did look it up and it is 8 main stages. And so unless like these next... Four or five get really long. Uh, this is a very short game. Now, granted, there you have different difficulty settings, and I guess you can go in with different cops if you want. Uh, so, I mean, let's choose. Let's go Williams. I haven't used him. And they have like different stats, but I haven't really seen like a huge impact. Let's go. So, I haven't done this level yet. I'm also not entirely sure, like, where the story's headed. I mean, so far it's been like, there's a guy with, the, then found the, his wife's wedding ring. You saw the scene with the two, guy, two cops in the car. 
talking about how his wife left him. There was another scene before this where the guy whose wife left him got a new partner and he was like huffing and puffing about it and stormed out of the office and then there was that which was totally unrelated so I don't know. If, I don't know if maybe there's just like a bunch of random scenes or if there's like an overarching storyline here. So, apartment bus. We gotta tip off the Hawaiian Bob is in town on, dr on a drugs run. Get in that apartment, take out Hawaiian Bob, and clean it out. Um, I kinda just wish your AI partner would just follow you. Instead of you having to constantly kinda like babysit him. Or just like... You know, whatever. Uh, yeah, so if you die, it does switch to your other partner. Also, one thing I'm wishing it does, I wish I could just, like, toggle between... Oh, here we go. I was trying to use the right analog stick to kind of switch, but you can just... You just tap the square and it switches. If I hit uh, the left uh, L3 button, you can kind of pull up a mini map here. And then I can use the D pad to kind of zoom in and out. I feel like it doesn't really zoom out maybe as much as I'd like it to, but yeah. And then, yeah, you notice, like, the, there's pieces of donuts and, and kind of first aid kits for your health. Ah, uh, but yeah, man, I don't know, like... Kinda... Kinda seems like this is gonna... Kinda it. I'm not really... Again, I'm not... Not really enjoying it. Uh, I believe Colin is doing the review. So, maybe he has a different take on it. Uh, I'm not sure I haven't really talked to him about it yet. I feel like I was far enough behind that wall, but yeah. Give it a few more tries. I, I, yeah, I just don't, I don't really like this game at all. Um, and it's not, yeah. I don't know, not really having fun. And, uh, it's $15, but it seems really short. That's the other thing. I was kind of surprised that... It seems like you could get, you could kind of get through this very, very quick. Like maybe a couple hours of that. Maybe less than that. I mean, I, I, they're probably relying that you, you know, you go back and replay levels on higher difficulties, and maybe those challenge levels have uh, more replayability. But okay, we'll do one more go. Send my other guy here. Yeah, my main complaint is just I don't really care for how it controls. Um, I was... I locked on to the other, the wrong guy. Whatever. Uh, that's LA Cops. 
I don't think it's that great, but. Let's check the leaderboards. Uh, so you got personal, friends, and, and global. And you can switch between levels and I'm guessing maybe difficulty. Okay, well, that's LA Cops. It is out now on PS4, uh, 15 bucks. Not, I don't know. I, I don't really, I really just, I'm not having fun with it. I don't think I'm, I'm probably not going to play anymore. Um, we do have a review coming up. It is, uh, Colin's going to be reviewing it. So again, I haven't really talked to him. I don't know what he thinks of it just yet, but that should be up, uh, soon. And, and that's that. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's all I got. I'll talk to you all later.